Okay guys, thanks for joining us here today. We will take a look at AMC price action and some striking news that may act as a positive catalyst for massive rip to the upside. Although it seems the market will have a brief pullback before the trip to the upside, today is uh, June 9th and the previous close of AMC is going to be $57.23, a slightly negative close approximately 3%. So if you're new around here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the family and go ahead and throw a like on this video. Let's get it out to more people so we can continue to grow this channel. And please comment down below either on AMC or any other stocks that you're into. You never know what could be the next video on the channel. So notice the red candle here. This somewhat indicates a reversal. I'm not saying there's definitely going to be a reversal, but... The long wicks at the top and bottom signifies there is not a lot of selling pressure to push the price down and it simply means more buying coming into the market. So let's dive into some of the recent news, lots of really positive news for AMC. So from, from CNBC it says, the world's largest movie theater company has raised around $2 billion in cash over the last 6 months predominantly from stock sales. With fresh funds, AMC CEO Adam Aaron said. The company plans on looking at several acquisitions including buying Arclight and Pacific Theatres that will not reopen after the pandemic. So it will also consider paying down some of its $5 billion debt, reducing the interest cost and paying millions in unpaid rent. Now Aaron has been able to raise the cash because of continued volatility, volatility in his um, stocks. So, which has become a favorite among retail investors trading so-called meme stocks. Shares of AMC were up more than 18% on Monday. And adding to last week's rally, the company's stock has risen nearly 2,600% since January. As AMC sold forces short sellers to give up their bearish positions. By midday Monday, AMC has uh, was the most active stock being traded in the market. So if it, if consumers continue to head out to the movies, AMC will be able to run more locations into larger sales. However, these same theaters could become a big burden on its cost structure if ticket sales dry up. As pent up demand to get out of the house is satisfied. Then we see that Wall Street reigns in hedge funds short bets on meme stocks. So Wall Street stockbrokers are quite tightening their rules for who can be against retail traders, most popular meme stocks. So Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated, that's Bank of Africa Incorporated, Citigroup Incorporated and Jeffries Financial Group Incorporated are among firms that have adjusted their risk controls at prime brokerage operations. According to people familiar with the moves, the banks are trying to protect themselves against fallout from extreme surges and dips and have characterized trading in companies including EMC Entertainment Holdings Incorporated, so Microvision Incorporated and also GameStop Corporation. So the changes mean some hedge funds and other institutional investors now face higher collateral requirements or are limited from shortening certain stocks. So the people said, asking not to be identified, discussing internal policy decisions. And also, AMC's meme stock trades mess with corporate theory. So the rush into the stocks coincided with frenzied trading for options. So contracts that allow investors to bet on price moves in stocks or protect their portfolios. The once obscure corner of the market has boomed this year like never before with many new investors trying their hands during the pandemic shutdowns. The complicated contracts can be risky to use but have mushroomed into a future of the meme mania this year. So some individual investors have said that they are drawn to the thrill of options trading, happy to take on higher risk for the prospects of big payouts. They have used the bets to turbocharge their positions eager to ride the relentless momentum in stocks like GameStop and AMC. Call options which allow investors the right to purchase stocks at a set price in the future have recorded particularly heavy trading. Internet traders and others have favored them for making bullish bets in pursuit of mammoth gains. They are relatively low cost with just one country covering a hundred shares has lured many into the market with acting rising to with activity rising to a fever pitch in recent sections 
So the recent activity in the MEM stock options on the covers underscores investors' fear of missing out on the surges. So many traders were positioning for even greater gains in AMC shares. So the perceived risk is not that AMC is going to go down to $10. The risk that everyone is worried about is AMC is going up to $1,000, said Henry Schwartz, head of product intelligence at uh, CBOE Global Markets. So on the daily candle chart, we can see three red candles that shows the price by over 43%. And then it had pulled it, it had a pullback of about 35 percent in the in the following days so there is a bit of a pullback here but i see amc reaching this 370 dollar range so whenever it's either on the downward trend or upward trend for for upward trends i get more worried because it makes me wonder when it will start dipping but downward trends can be seen as a buying opportunity in my opinion so the moment we start to see areas of uh, support and consolidation it's good i mean it shows that we have some stability here and we have the potential to shoot way up of course we can always go down depending on what volume looks like and depending on several catalysts but at the same time i always look for those areas of sideways consolidation i do believe this crypto has massive potential but please always do your fundamental research on this stock before buying shares this is not a financial advice guys so buyers and sellers can still come into the market and alter the price action so thanks for watching guys don't forget to plan and execute your strategies we'll talk again very soon bye for now